I remember not not too long ago. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe it was a while back. Maybe it was over a year ago. You you had said um, you had, you had said that it was it was hard to wake up. You were noticing that it was really getting difficult to wake up in the morning. I mean, even without at that time, I I I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I mean, I feel really stupid if you would. No, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, you're, you're, it was without the Seroquel. It was, it was um, on days where you hadn't taken anything, um, and you were noticing that waking up in the morning was different. That it was harder to wake up in the morning, and it was, it was just more of a challenge and. As a contrast to years ago, the morning um, used to have this energy to it. I mean, I remember when you were a kid, you'd get up and getting up in the morning, and there was this um, up and ready to go, and enter, you know, there's, there was this kind of high that went with it. You know, you're ready to go, you're gonna eat breakfast, and then you're gonna, you know, we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna go, and we're, and we're gonna you know, go do it. And it was almost like this. Kind of um, just innate thing, you know, this um, natural quality. Like it was waking up in the morning, and there was an energy, and then it was off and running. And um, you noticed a while back, you were like, "Oh God, you know, waking up, waking, waking up in the morning." Now it's just really, oh jeez, it's really difficult. And and it's been that way for a while. And um, today was no exception. Um, it really feels like you need eight hours, period. You know, where I, I remember you being able to get six hours, um, and sometimes five, and you were just, things were wonderful. And I think that that has a lot to do with what's going on, you know, in your mental, what's going on with you day to day and in your mental state. And, and, um, I really do believe that if you were excited, um, continuously and uh, continuously excited about something and you were plugged in and you were motivated and and raring to go and, and you're plugged into something that, that that would change I think that you would magically have all this energy and um, that's really important to to realize that because today you're sitting on, you got up this morning and it was very difficult and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to make anything. I'm never going to do it. And my life is just, oh, it's just, oh, woe is me. I'm just lost, lost in the, lost in the wilderness. I've been left behind. And you're, and you got on the computer and you're like, oh, I just want to get on the computer and search for, I just want to do searches. I just want to go and and search and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use Google and it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna do that and so there's like this easy easy flow into it you're just like I'm just doing this now and um, you started searching for old friends of yours um, Matt and Steven and, you, and, you, and, the, and the picture family and you started searching and you started uh, um, Finding people, you found first. You found Sherry on MySpace, and then you, uh, then you saw that uh, you saw Keith's picture, and you and you went to Keith Keith's profile, and you hadn't seen Keith since he was a baby, and now he's like 21 years old. And you emailed Keith, and then you found um, after some more searching and finagling, and you were looking at the location. You were trying to find the the convenience store that was by the house, and. You got really close, I and mean, it was almost like you found that convenience store, but there wasn't a street picture, so you weren't sure. And you were just looking at it, and you and you thought maybe their their house had been torn down because it looked like there was an empty lot, and there was a shadow cast from another house that was kind of covering this vacant lot. And you, and you noticed that down the street there there was a train track, and you and you thought you know, and then there were there were stores, there were storefronts, and you thought the the overpass, that raised road, um, could have been. They, you know, there once upon a time, um, right below the tracks, and, and it was really interesting. And um, then you, f shortly thereafter, found Monda, and uh, Monda now lives in Louisiana. Um, you were recognizing all of Sherry's kids, and 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 you found Monda, 
and you saw that she went to Sequoia High School and you know you're kind of feel, um, there's this kind of agitated feeling about it. It, it you know it, it kind of feels like you're trudging along and you're searching for past events that that you feel definitely that you should be over that it should be done with and it should just be you know and I think you know it should just be this you know wa water under the bridge and water long past under the bridge and and it, it you know and, and, you, and you start to feel this kind of dread in your mind that the reason why you're doing this search is because you know it just feels like in, in other circumstances there really wouldn't be time or there there wouldn't be a motivation to do this because it's like you wouldn't really care because just naturally you would have moved on completely and, and you know there's something that because your life is what it is now, you're just like, oh, well, I'll just go search for these old friends of mine that you kind of lost touch with for very natural and obvious reasons years ago. And um, interesting thing is that you can't find Matt and Steven, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting, but there, there's this kind of feeling of dread. So you were... Okay, so somebody's at the door. <laughs> 